an application note out uh, about the use of all of their contactors that that um, um, coil spike um, uh, suppression diode uh, prolongs the time on the make or break on these contacts and prevents them from doing their job. This particular um, switch, my favorite, I call it the Bubba, but it's uh, the EV250-2A, has circuitry in it for uh, appropriate um, coil spike procession, uh, suppression. If you need to do that, uh, the, the current thinking, and really for the last 20 years, is you use a, a Zener breakdown diode in series with a diode, but there are some even more advanced techniques than that. And they've already employed these in this uh, uh, relay. Here's our two wires we're gonna connect. One, the black one would just go to ground and the red one to our switch source uh, in order to switch this uh, power relay. Um, also called contactor. And we're going to use that to apply voltage to our controller. Let's talk a little bit about that because there's another matter um, that they constantly talk about that does need some work. Um, we referred to this with uh, Rich Redman in the uh, Manzanita Micro uh, charger where I was getting a big pop whenever I hooked it up because of his output capacitors. A capacitor it's a little bit like a water tank, I guess would be the analogy. Uh, when it's empty, it can take an immense amount of actual current um, to build until the voltage in it builds up, uh, and the voltage lags the current um, considerably uh, by 90 degrees in, a, in circuit analysis. But as this fills with uh, current, uh, then the voltage differential decreases and the current slows. But when you first hook up a source to this, um, it can take uh, quite, uh, it'll cause quite an in, what's referred to as an inrush current. Um, in that there'll be a huge um, dump of current into the capacitor. Similarly, when discharging it, when you first um, hook this up to any kind of load, it discharges uh, potentially an immense amount of current very, very briefly, microseconds, and then uh, that starts to decrease as the voltage um, differential normalizes. Most controllers have these on the input to filter uh, the voltage. Um, now I'm a little, I've always been a little bit lost um, with this um, because we're using battery power and it doesn't really need much fil filtering, but it's also typically the input to some sort of a buck or boost converter where they're stepping up and down the voltage. So they have to have pretty large capacitors on the input. In spite of the fact that the Tim 600 book makes no mention of this at all, I did call uh, Victor at Metric Mine and confirm this. Oh yes, it's implied and uh, he agrees any um, type of device that has input capacitors, you need to employ a pre-charge resistor. This is a little bit um, of something that's uh, hard to get your mind around when our whole purpose with this relay is to either connect it to power or disconnect it. Um, in truth, we want it to be connected all the time. And the reason is, so this capacitor um, can fill up and normalize. It won't accept a tremendous amount of energy, but it, it, uh, it will have a big differential and causes inrush current. If I connect a resistor across the two inputs of my relay, I've completed a path from my battery pack to my controller input capacitor. And a little bit of current will flow depending on the size resistor that I select. Over time, and it can't do this very fast because the, restrict, the, the resistor restricts uh, the amount of current. But it's kind of like filling the tank with a dribble. It, uh, it simply uh, can't uh, do it very fast, but over a period of 30 seconds or a minute or so, the voltage in the capacitor will rise to be the same as the pa uh, traction voltage. Uh, now, what happens when we close the contactor? Uh, there's really no difference in potential 
between the capacitor and the battery pack. And so now we can flow uh, large uh, current values, 400 amps through here, but uh, there's no inrush current because there really wasn't a difference in potential between the capacitor and the battery pack in the first place. So it's kind of a key um, concept and it, it's a little bit counterintuitive. Why would you short your switching relay with a resistor? This is a little uh, kind of a Vichy type uh, power resistor. Um, this is a 25 watt resistor. Um, I selected 500 ohms. Why 500 ohms? It, re it really doesn't matter up to a point, but here's how the thinking goes. The smaller the value of the resistor, the quicker the precharge, but also the higher value of current that will go through here. We have a um, 375 volt pack. Um, a uh, one ohm resistor, for example, would be 375 amps, and so I haven't prevented anything. A mega ohm uh, resistor would be uh, a very small uh, trickle value, and it would take several hours to normalize this capacitor. At 500 ohms, uh, we're talking three quarters of an amp, 750 milliamps through here. This will reach full charge in just a few minutes, but the current value won't be so much as to uh, uh, cause in, uh, a tremendous amount of heat. Even then, uh, three quarters of an amp, 375 uh, ohms, um, we're talking about uh, 250 watts of power. This is a 25 watt um, resistor, and that's why we use a power resistor. I'm hopeful that it will last uh, because, again, while the, the initial spike of current into this thing is large, uh, the power it can accept is not. So we're not going to be doing even the three quarters of an amp for a very long period of time. And so after an initial surge, it'll drop off. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm hopeful the 25 watt resistor will be able to take it. Uh, if not, I'll very quickly see a puff of smoke. This is a resistor. I've uh, soldered two little wires um, onto it with some heat shrink over the connection, uh, put some uh, terminals here, and uh, I could take uh, the nuts off of uh, one of these uh, relays and I'll simply connect the uh, resistor across the uh, two terminals and we're really just kind of shorting out our, uh, our relay terminals but the resistor of course isn't a short, it has a value in this case 500 ohms. Um, oh, I've heard, I hear 20 ohms a lot and I hear 750 ohms a lot. 3 to 500 ohms is what I like to, to use. Now, in saying that, I'm fairly knowledgeable around the electric car. We also have another way to cut off the current and that is in the uh, event um, we, ha we have in the passenger compartment an emergency uh, uh, brake switch. Uh, this is a large switch that I can disconnect. Um, oh, it'll work anywhere in the battery um, along the series. If I uh, turn that switch off, we've pretty much disconnected power from up front here. If I had what switch is this relay set to an on position, and that's a 12 volt system that runs this, and I had this relay closed, and I went and turned that switch back on, I can still blow up the circuitry in this uh, controller. And it's because I'm not going through the precharge resistor, this is empty. I've got the battery disconnected. If I turned it on and this was in a closed position, um, then I would uh, pretty much blow up my controller. And I, we read all the time people doing this. Uh, so turn the ignition key off. In the, our case, we've got a little start stop button. But turn that off and then uh, disconnect your battery pack. And that way when you turn that uh, maintenance switch back on, uh, you don't get a surge and blow up your controller. This is called a precharge resistor. We're precharging the capacitor. And this applies pretty much to any uh, 
kind of a controller, a DC to DC converter, anything with the input capacitors, um, as we saw with the case of Rich Redmond, an output capacitor on a, a charger, uh, and he suggested that we do a pre-charge circuit to um, hook our car up um, to charge it. I'm not going to go that far, and we can't really hurt his uh, charger with, with that uh, pop, he assured me. Um, but controllers, DC to DC converters, we have blown up a DC, DC converter this way. Again, no mention in the book uh, that there was any necessity, but we, did, uh, and we didn't really blow it up. We blew a fuse in it and were unable to obtain the fuse this side of Switzerland, um, and so we had to send it back in.